I am Isabella Hartig and I play in the attacking central midfield. My name is Mark Rodriguez. My name is Mark Rodriguez. I am from Spain and I've been working at TSK for three years. My name is, uh, my name is Gabo Galay. I am the head coach here at TSK Hoffenheim. I'm going into my third year as head coach after serving as the assistant coach. I'm Jana. I'm part of the sports science consulting team at Kinexon. I am Paul Niehaus and I am a sports scientist. Kinexon is a Munich-based company, which collects data in real time. The backbone is position data that we capture. Based on position data, we calculate different metrics. In soccer, there are certain metrics that coaches pay particular attention to. This is mainly about runs in high-intensity zones. We cover these with sprints, but also with high metabolic distances. <laughs> Since this summer, this season, the TSG Hoffenheim women use our Kinexon Perform GNSS system. With the start of the preseason, they started working with the system. Can I also include more facilities? Exactly. You can include and set up as many facilities as you like. That also means when you play away, you could create a facility and then call it VfL Wolfsburg AOK Stadium if you were to play there. Or you can enter FC Bayern campus as an example. You can do that via Google or Maps. With the GPS tracker from Kinexon, we are trying to train as specifically as possible. For me, it's oftentimes about sprinting ability. I need the ability to keep going over 90 minutes. I think, especially with tracking tools, you can see very well at what point you're not able to go all in anymore. Then you know for sure, from minute 75 onwards, it just doesn't work anymore. So then, we have to work a bit more. Of course, we also try to use the data in a different way. Perhaps there is a connection in the sense that we ran less, and that's why we lost the game. We're still in the early stages, of course, but we also want to make sure that we get a real-time lineup to see how the chains move. We are not very deep in here yet, but we would like to use the system for game analysis as well, not only for performance diagnostics. I have been with the TSG Hoffenheim since 2015, and what has been done and changed since then is huge. The general conditions, for example, how we can now train in the area of strength and conditioning, but also how we manage load control. In the past, everyone used to do the same, but at the level we play now, it just has to be individualized. You can see that women's football has become more and more athletic. We've adjusted the training times, the strength and conditioning training, and we've implemented a certain injury prevention program before practice. We really want the girls to notice that what they do here is their job. We have pushed diagnostics a step further. We have moved away from a different system and switched to Kinexon.
If I now look at my team, I see different types with different histories in terms of injuries. There are teammates who, for example, have already had a few serious knee injuries. Others have been spared so far. That's why the topic of load control is simply enormously important, so that over the course of the season, everyone is able to perform consistently. With Kinexon, there is the possibility to see who is currently training in which zone, who might have to pause in the next session, who might have to push or do a little less, and where we can maybe get a few more percent out of personal fitness. These are all points that I think have to be evaluated individually for the big picture to work. Women simply have different requirements. Performance in professional sports is simply different than men's. There are quite obvious physical differences. For example, women just generally have a wider and lower pelvis, which, for example, increases the risk of ligament tears. Then, of course, the female cycle. I would say that is the main difference, or one of the points that should definitely be taken into account. Depending on the phase of the cycle, women have a different ability to regenerate. Stress, the emotional state, or even the ability to perform changes. Would you be in favor of integrating something like a cycle track in our system? I mean, integrated cycle planning, or for example, tables or flagging charts, to know who's in the first or last stage of the cycle, so that you can evaluate and analyze the data better. Yes, I would definitely do that. I currently use the data anyways. If we can use the Connexon dashboard to analyze the data, that would be good. Or if there was a dashboard we could combine it with. I hope above all that we can learn and develop together, that we can see progress and that our dashboards are being used, and that our new metrics are working and helping too. Hopefully this effort facilitates the work of coaches and staff. The players see that they're being listened to when it comes to cycle pain or issues. I'm very much looking forward to working together with the TSG Hoffenheim, to the joint development and also to the challenges that will come our way.